Each year, high school kids that are out of their mind sign up for IB to be confined in the grind. They want to get into college as easy as possible. They think this achievement will be plausible. But a lot of hard work is what IB entails. They must work extra hard not to fail. Three types of students engage in this path. Who will survive the IB wrath? They must complete all requirements through both years, EE CAS exams, which cause the shed of tears. Along with these trials, they must tell a tale about their values and so what in life should prevail. The slacker, the scholar, and the so-so compete for the IB diploma too will suffer defeat. The diploma will be rewarded to who most succeeds, Lord Baron being the one who does this deed. But what is the purpose of this reward we acknowledge? The popular belief is it gets you into college. Students want the best chances for success, but will the stress become excess? Some are lazy and feel rather sour. Others take on the challenge with plenty of willpower. At the end of senior year is when it's revealed who gets the diploma and has their success sealed. The slacker chooses to lay low. Her day always seems to go by slow. She never shows up to class. Such is why her grades are trash. She chooses rather to go on the gram instead of preparing for the exam. Pajamas are her daily fit. To dress to impress is hard to commit. She never shows an ounce of care, always twirling her coal-colored hair. She decided to sign her life away for that IB credit, yet her dignity has not been shredded. She does not let the stress get to her. Preparing is for amateurs. Her motto, just wing it, because she knows her limit. All the homework that she gets, she learns to finesse, rather than completing it by herself. Oh, she will never excel. It's 8 o'clock? Oh my goodness. I guess we should just head to Starbucks. The so-so chooses not to lean far either way but instead chooses balance in her IB days. She cares about grades, but to an extent. She chooses to rather feel mentally content. Most of the time, her homework is complete, but if she is stressed, homework cannot compete. See, school for her is not what means the most. Her mental health is not to be turned to a ghost. The so-so wants to be happy and have fun, while her education progresses and continues on. If she is tired and late night comes closer, Work is put aside and her rest takes over. Whether lazy or hardworking depends on the day, depends on work amount and how her feelings weigh. Many would describe her as an average student. Excessive work can often feel like a pollutant. On a typical day, she is moderately dressed. She doesn't care to make people overly impressed. She just wants to get her work done while at school, but once she gets home, she likes to refuel. She aims for the diploma to her best attempt. But if she feels overworked, she deems herself exempt. The reason she aims to win this prize of success is so her life is set up to reasonably progress. She just wants an education and a good career, but doesn't need excessive success in her years. The scholar is an intelligent student, always described as very prudent. He always has the best grades in class. All other students he would suppress. No homework was turned in late. His organization is so great. He does not worry before a test. He knows that he will always be the best. While he is working till three in the morning, this results in his grades not leaving him mourning. He always knows what to do for his cast and will get it done very fast. The IB diploma is a sure thing, well, and he will graduate in the spring. His academics have a lot of stability. How does one require this scholarly ability? How does one avoid acting like a fool? He has no life outside of school.
Well, Soso, I'm actually quite impressed by your tale and your academic success this year. I really appreciate your mindset. I think it's important to achieve balance in life, and you've done an excellent job with this. That's why I present to you the IB Diploma. Congratulations. Wow, what a true honor has been to get the IB Diploma. I mean, I'm so surprised. I never thought it would be me. And can I just say that this handy little thing, it's gotten me all of these college acceptance letters. And I'm just, I'm so blessed. Um, first, I would like to thank my...